Zine with GolfAllYear.com, and I'm going to uh, talk in this video about uh, what I'm going to be working on uh, over the next couple months in holiday break uh, to improve my swing so that uh, I can break 80 consistently. That's kind of been my goal. Uh, and so my focus for the next few months is going to be on my impact position. Uh, I really want to focus on improving um, my the point of where I contact the ball. All good ball strikers uh, have the same uh, impact position. Their hands are forward, their weight's forward. Um, they don't flip the club. Uh, and so this will um, do a couple of things for me. One, I think I'll be able to hit the ball further. Uh, two, I think that I'll, uh, by making solid contact, I'll be able to hit to more, more greens and fairways. Um, and I will um, maybe be able to uh, work the ball a little better. Um, I'm really uh, seeing my swing um, over the last couple months kind of uh, move toward more of an open club face. Um, my OptiShot simulator uh, has shown um, and my club face is, you know, four degrees open right now and, and I really like it to be under two uh, so that I can get rid of uh, a slice and hit uh, that nice draw. And so uh, I think I'm going to start with the impact position. Um, I'm going to do that in a couple of ways. Uh, number one, um, I'm going to get some training aids. Uh, I've ordered two different training aids. One is called the uh, DST compressor. I'm going to, I got the eight iron coming to me. Uh, and so um, I'm going to use that. What the decompressor, uh, the DST compressor is, it's a curved type shaft that helps you get your hands in the correct position at setup and at impact. Uh, you can actually hit balls with it. And so I'm really excited about that. Um, and so hopefully that will um, get me in that right position. Uh, I'm also ordered what is called a swing whistle. A swing whistle uh, it attaches to your club and basically it whistles, um, it, it whistles at you as you swing. And so what you're looking for is you're looking for that whistle to be right at impact or after impact. Uh, that shows you that you're, you're really holding that club uh, correctly and that you're not flipping the club and releasing the club too early. Uh, if you hear the, the whistle um, later or uh, excuse, excuse me, earlier in your, your swing, uh, that could tell you that you are uh, releasing the club and might be getting an outside in swing and, and um, not the correct position at impact. And so I'm kind of excited to see how that works. Um, I'll post reviews of both those uh, devices down below. Uh, and so you'll be able to see um, what I thought of them and how and if they've helped me at all uh, achieve a better impact position uh, and hit the ball better, um, particularly with my irons and, and making better contact. Um, I've also uh, looked into possibly getting uh, another training device called the Mini Bombit, which is basically a, a club uh, that you can hit. It's like a driver, but it is the head of the club is the size of a golf ball. And so it really focuses you on hitting um, the correct spot, the sweet spot of the golf club. Uh, you have to slow your swing down a little bit to, to hit it correctly. Uh, it can be a challenge and, and it sounds like it can be kind of fun. So uh, I'm going to be doing those things to, to really work on uh, striking the ball better. Uh, I think if I'm able to strike the ball better and get back to that nice draw that uh, I developed uh, last year, um, I think I can uh, really try to break 80 uh, in, in the future. You know, I, I Believe it or not, I, I had my first hole in one um, uh, this year. Um, it was 115 yard par three and um, had the hole in one. Didn't believe it, but uh, it did go in. Uh, and I attribute that a lot to the OptiShot simulator and practicing on the OptiShot simulator. Um, the OptiShot simulator is, has really helped me uh, to, to groove my swing and, and improve my iron accuracy. Uh, you know, if you have any questions about that, please check out my uh, blog golfallyear.com and, and you'll see uh, some of the progression that I've made and some of the things that I've written about on how I was able to do that. I was able to improve my iron accuracy. Um, and so I want to get back to that. Uh, I kind of lost it the last few months of the year. Um, started to, to uh, really see when, as I'd hit on my simulator, that uh, my club face was open more. And so I want to um, get back to hitting a lot more and, and using the OptiShot. So um, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, check out the reviews that I'll be posting uh, when I use the training aids. Uh, thanks a lot.